so this how little John, this how little John did it. Little John is a damn. I love Little John. He's a real consoler. He's a great. He's a great human being. He's a positive human being, and a truly talented young man. You know, and so Little John, what what he would do, and he a comedian too. That's nothing. <laughs> so he'd call us. You know, okay, we'd do a session, and then he'd say, "All right, all right, all right, gentlemen." Uh, Tomorrow, what are we going to do tomorrow? He said, this, this is when he going to his voice. He just, tomorrow, Thursday, which is tomorrow, we're going to wake up early in the morning, and we're going to go to Beautifuls early in the morning. I'm going to treat y'all to Beautifuls. Beautifuls is this, this restaurant where they serve whiting fish, fried whiting fish with grits and, and, okay. and yeah, with egg, grits and eggs and all that good stuff, right? The best breakfast, pancakes, everything. You feel what I'm saying? This is okay. in the A in Atlanta. So we'll go there. Then we're gonna go, we'll go back to the house. Y'all, everybody go back to their house. I to, to our, in my case, it was a hotel or you know, Airbnb at that time. Um, and then uh and then at at, at three o'clock when it's time for the session, we ain't gonna work on nothing but up temple beats, up temple. That's the kind of shit he'll do. He have a whole schedule. Then the next day we're gonna work on strip club music. That's when we came with Gimme. <laughs> Yeah. So he had it all plotted out. You feel me? So the, so he got on the mother drums and did muscle car. Boom, 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 boom. Out of nowhere, right? I say, this is going, right? I say, we need to send this beat. I say, we need to send this to kick the sneak. You feel me? I call, I call Dame Fang. I say, Dame Fang, where kick at? Where y'all at right now? I'm finna send y'all. Send me an email address. I'm about to send y'all this beat. He said, E, we in the A. I say, you in the A? You serious? I say, if you don't get over here with the hurry upness, I say, I'm going to give you this address. We in the studio right now. Come through. You feel me? They came through, walked in the door. They heard muscle cars. Keep with it. He got on that mother hook. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. danced that first. And then we sent it to Turf Talk. I called Turf Talk. I said, cuss, where you at, man? He said, I'm in the studio. I said, perfect. I said, man, look, I'm going to sing you a song. He went in there and gassed that, right? Folks, if he's beat your brains, you know what I'm saying? He was in there gassing. Yeah. So he sent it back. So then, no later than like an hour after that, Lil John, like not even, like after we finished that, Lil John back on the on the drums doing some tribal. Do, do, cat, do, 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 cat, do, do, cat, do, 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 cat. That's when he added that. Dumb, 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 dumb. Yeah. I say, what the f going on here? I say, this is some, this is some magical. It's something in these walls that stank on your studio. Stank on your studio is at is is the legendary Outcast Group mm -hmm. studio in Atlanta. That's mm -hmm. where we did all them hits at. It's something wow. about the walls because even pro even before we was in there, it was so many hit records being made at Stank on your studio, whether it was rap music, R and B, whatever. And so I'm like, it's something about these walls because there's too many blabs of curry because we had already did um, Snap Your Fingers. And that's out, that we knew that was out of there. We knew yeah. it. You yeah. feel me? So I'm like, Still, what the that's what I'm saying. So then he came with them up. Tell me when. So Keek and them just went around the corner. They had, we had got some liquor and shit. They got, went around the corner and like the studio big. So they went, went around the corner and kind of like huddled up and like, hmm. And they just listen to the beat and tell me when they go. Tell me when they go. And then that's not added my part to tell me when they go. And then, then Lil John came with dumb, 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 dumb. I say, oh my God. Real quick. So then we sent it to, I sent it to Turf Talk. Because I did a verse, Keith did a, I did a verse, Keith did a verse. I okay. sent it, people, people don't know this. I sent it to Turf Talk. Turf oh, wow. Talk sent that. He said, I said, what you doing, cuz? How you looking? He said, over here, racking my brain, trying to trying to keep up with y'all, kind of trying to gas it. The man sent it back with the hurry upness, and he gassed it. It was so dope, right? His, his verse was incredible. And so, but look, Lil John say, "Listen here, Turf Talk dope as, but we already got him on muscle cars. We need to take the, take him off of this one, save that verse for something else, and let's do a chant at the end. I need you to talk about all that's going on out there in the Bay Area, and that's what I did." Yeah, I love the little John voice, by the way. <laughs> yeah, that's what I did. I did exactly what he wanted me to do. Wow. I swallowed my pride and let that man coach me. And that's what it was. And when that call and respond, that was what it was about. Yeah, so when when I was putting up the IG story, our picture, 
for today. Yeah. Yeah. I look up the gifts, and when you look up the little gifts or whatever, you type in E40, that's where you get the gas brake dip. <laughs> gas that's where the brake. gas brake dip. Like, that's, you know, gas like, brake dip. Come on, we've been saying that since we was teenagers. You know, we used to do that at <laughs> Dan Foley Park in Vallejo. You know what and, I mean? What 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 John like last last year? Um, I ran into him at a club, and you know we were talking about all this stuff, and he was just saying like how like the game he felt like needed more energy, and he was like he felt he was feeling like you know bringing back that you know that that feel that sound you know those BPMs and all yeah. that, and then it's funny because it's like then you hear him drop a record with like you know Luda, you know and and Usher. And even though everybody like, man, they so they oh they oh geez, but when you actually hear it and everything, you're like, but it's it it's nostalgic, but still in this era and it sounds incredible. Cool. You know what I mean? So I'm just asking, I know you got curb commentator channel two, three, four. Is is already done in the works? Anything you can tell us about collaborate? Cause you because for you, like honestly, I I feel like your Rolodex when it comes to rappers of R and B or anybody, like your Rolodex is so long. Like we we probably don't even know about half the people in this room, but that we'd be, we'd all be pretty surprised. That's yeah. what I'm saying. When you, when you drop a record with Jeremiah Rick Ross, right? I'm like 40 and Rick Ross and Jeremiah and Chris Brown all on one song with legendary. the Keith Sweat sample. All of dudes doing? legendary and they all good dudes. So, so going back to what, what, what the, uh, Randy, the fan was saying is like, yeah, are you going to make another kind of like a you and that booty kind of like, you know what I mean? Well, people know are known outside of, the bay area you know what i mean like you got some of those coming up oh yeah man you know all i do is make music my uh, that's all i got so much music locked in and mm -hmm. i don't stop so i might pull something um like i go in there i'm going in the studio today i'm just going to gas and you know what i'm saying Word. and um that's what i do and i my, i just got thousands and thousands tupac taught me that you know tupac said man you know I, all i do is do music he said i got out for when i die and that's what I want to do. I want to, I want to, I'm not trying to die no time sooner. And no. It, bo it bothered no, me when he said that. At the time, it bothered me. Like, Damn. come on, Pac, you ain't going to die. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. You know, little did, you know, little did we know he died a few, like eight months, like six months later, like, you know, some close, close to that, you know, but yeah. he didn't do, he didn't say that to say, he didn't mean it like that. Like I'm going to die. He just, he was really telling the truth. Like he was building up, a, like that's what the greats do. They have music. In the in in the, in the archives or in the um how would I say it or in you know in the vault on on you know for 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 the future, you feel me? Yeah, and no, I, I, this, I mean that that's that I heard I heard the man. I mean you said it last night. You make like seven to nine songs in a day. Come on, and that, and I and I make like two, but I do it every day. Like you know what I'm saying? 